What's up guys, Justin here with the realtimeessentials.com back with another Unity model import tutorial. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about how to import files from the free modeling program Blender into Unity. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna take this chair that I've downloaded from Blender Kit over in Blender. We wanna export this and we wanna bring it into Unity. And so the easiest way to do this is gonna to be to save this chair. So I'm just gonna do a file, save as. We'll just call it chair. And then we wanna go over into Unity and we just wanna right click in here and do an import new asset. And what I've done is I've come in here and I've created a folder for my chair. And all I wanna do is just right click on it and we're doing import new asset. And I wanna find that chair model. And so when I double click on this, what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring this chair model in right here. So now I can drag this into my scene. So it's really easy to do. Um, it kind of references Blender in order to do that. So there are some things where you need to make sure that you have Blender set up as the default program to open the file. But generally, unless you have like multiple installs of Blender or something, it should work just fine. But the problem with this, and notice that it does bring in your Blender camera as well. So you're gonna see a preview of what your camera is seeing. So if you do have a Blender camera you wanna bring in, this can be helpful for that. But notice how the problem with this is it definitely came in, it brought in the mesh, but what it didn't do is it didn't bring in the material right here. And so the problem with that is if we look in that folder right here, all we have is a blend file. Right, We don't have the actual texture images in this folder that we can relink to because the problem with this material, if you click on it, is it doesn't have links back to any of the maps or anything like that. So what we wanna do is we wanna go back into Blender. So what we need to do is we need to export those texture images um, into a folder. And so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the unpack all into files function right here. What that's going to do is that's going to unpack all of the images into a folder. But the problem is if we click on it right now, it's going to give you an error message because the file isn't packed. So it doesn't find anything to unpack. So basically all that means is you need to go to file external data and click on the button for pack all into dot blend. What that's going to do is that's going to take all of the files contained inside of this and it's going to pack them into the blender file. Well then we can do a file external data unpack all into files. And in this case, we're just going to click on the button for use files in current directory, create when necessary. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna take all of the files contained in, inside of your Blender file, and it's gonna pack them. So in this case, notice what it did is it took all of the textures and it packed them into the folder. And so this gives us a lot of things from Blender Kit too that are in the background. You don't need to worry too much about those. I'm actually gonna delete them out. And so we're gonna delete out everything that isn't these materials for your executive office chair. And so what we're left with is we're left with the textures that were assigned to this chair. So notice how this is all uh, UV unwrapped and ready to go. Well now, all we have to do is jump back into Unity. So all we needed to do was get these textures. Now we can go over into Unity and what we need to do is we need to apply them to this material right here. So the first thing we can do is we can import them. So we could take them all, maybe create a folder called materials. And then we could just drag them from Windows Explorer into the materials window right here. So now those are contained inside of our assets folder and we need to apply those to the material on this model. But notice how it's not letting us do that. So what we need to do in order to fix that is we just need to jump back into our chair model right here and notice how under the import settings there's an option here to extract materials. And so what that's going to do is that's going to take this material and it's going to extract it out of the blend file so that we can work with it. So we're going to click on the button for extract materials. It's going to ask us where we want to put that. And we could just put that in the materials folder as well. So now notice how that's no longer contained inside of our chair file. That's been moved into our materials file. Notice how also we can select that material and edit it on the right hand side. So for example, if I wanted to, I could adjust the albedo in here, but we don't want to adjust the albedo. What we want to do is we want to drag these maps into the proper locations. So in this case, for example, what I want to do is I want to take this material, which is the texture material, and I want to drag it into the albedo slot 
right here. Well, notice how when I drag it into the albedo slot, it gets applied to this model. Then I want to do the same thing for the normal map right here. Notice how it says this texture is not marked as a normal map. All that means is that means that this actual texture file needs to get set as a normal map right here. So you can either click on this and do this, um, you can do this manually, or there was also a button over there to fix that, which you could have clicked, which would do that as well. And then we're going to drag the metallic into the metallic map right here. And notice how everything looks shiny. We're just going to bring the smoothness down so that we're getting some shininess in here, but not that like super strong that makes everything look shiny. So you can adjust the reflections right here. All right, so alternatively, you could also try to export this as an FBX. So you could do a file, export, FBX. And so this gives you more control over the things that are exported. So for example, you've got presets over here, um, some things that you may or may not want, like you might not want the camera, you might just want the mesh in here, no empties or armatures. So you can select those things, you can limit that to the selected objects, as well as giving you the ability to adjust the scale, um, set what the forward direction is, other things like that. Um, there is an option here for apply transforms. So um, that's kind of an experimental option. So it's probably better to just do an object apply like rotation and scale um, before you try to export everything. But you can export this right here to an FBX and then you can jump over into Unity and just right click and you can import that FBX file as an asset right here. So we're gonna click on import and I'm gonna bring this in. And so notice how that came in with some textures already applied. So notice how this material is getting brought in right here with the albedo and the normal map applied. So that could be a faster option, but notice how you're not getting the same amount of control over this. So you would have to, you would have to do that same thing where you click on this new extract the materials into a separate material and edit it there. But that's another thing you could try in order to bring those blender files into Unity. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. I'd recommend kind of playing around with this and figuring out which workflow works better for you. Um, but leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Unity content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.